One magic experience I had this year was when the Black Rock Scouts came to visit Pink Heart. And the Black Rock Scouts is a organization of youth. It is, you know, this this group of kids that are a part of Kidsville that get together and do specific activities that are organized in advance to help them learn about the principles and and see art and kind of really integrate into Black Rock City. And so each year they've come at a specific time to, to Pink Heart, and I've given a talk about gifting, and then we've invited them to be a part of our gifting, and either giving away ice cream or something like that. And this year, it was extra special because uh, Anthony this year brought, I think, close to 10,000 of gourmet cookies with this incredible oatmeal raisin recipe that he made from scratch and was you know, intentionally made to be gooey and yummy in the desert. It was so good. And so we had literally thousands and thousands of these cookies that he gave away. I think 600 a day was his budget. And so the, the scouts came and it's always so awesome because I, I ask them all these questions and their hands shoot up and they, you know, they share. I go, so who, who's gotten an awesome gift? And Oh, I got a lollipop. Oh, I got a bracelet. Last year, this one kid goes, I got a new friend. And then I ask them about gifts that they gave. And it's amazing how, especially these kids that have come year after year, they so get gifting. They so, you know, they're so dialed in. And this year, because of these cookies, I had a cool way of explaining things. And I was like, well, you know, you know how cool is it to get a cookie, you know? But how many cookies can you really eat before you get sick? I mean, it, getting one cookie is great. Getting five cookies is great. Getting 10 cookies? Like, could you really get 10 times first of happy by eating 10 cookies? A few kids are like, yeah. I'm like, well, could you eat 100 cookies? Probably not. I'm like, well, imagine if you were giving them away. You could get happy every time you gave someone a cookie to a friend and they made them happy, right? You could give five away and that's five times happy. You could give 10 away, 10 times happy. You could give 100 away. I'm like, what if you had 1,000 cookies to give away? They're like, ah. I'm like, we have 1,000 cookies to give away. And then the little kids all put on little plastic gloves and we handed out cookies into the streets. And it was so awesome. So awesome. And that was, you know, another example of just like something where all these different people expressed their magic and it came through in this collective expression of love that, you know, who knows the kind of ripples that, that touched people. I know that I was resonating for a long time and potentially those kids are touched in deep ways as well. A lot of their parents were someone who gets a gooey, yummy cookie from a little kid with a glowing smile as they ride by on their bike? How can that not change the world? This is Halcyon and welcome to a post-Burning Man Hug Nation. This is my first opportunity to officially ground and share some of the miracles and magic that I was witnessed and received and was a part of this year in Black Rock City. So 